Pop quiz, gentlemen. When it comes to looking and feeling older, how much of that is under your control? Specifically, how much is genetics and then how much is your habits? What do you think? 50-50 or maybe 60% habits, 40% genetics or maybe flip the two. The reality, none of those numbers are right. Nope, believe it or not, gents, you have a lot more control than you think. Seriously, in a recent study on aging, genetics only accounted for 20 to 30%. That's great news because what it's saying is that 75% of aging is dependent on our actions, things we can control. The first bad habit that's making you look old, you're scrolling on your phone till 3 a.m. Okay, so maybe you're not that bad, but are you sleeping with your phone next to you? Are you scrolling right before going to sleep? Are you on your computer till 11 o'clock till midnight? Gents, the studies are clear. If you are on electronic devices right before going to sleep, you are not going to have an optimum night's rest. And this is key because if you want to look and feel young, gents, you need to get a good night's rest. <laughs> and it's not just being in bed for six to eight hours. It is actually getting sleep in that time period. If you're not already doing it, I highly recommend that you track your sleep. I use an aura ring, but there are tons of other devices out there. Point being is that you're going to see your sleep efficiency. I know for me, seeing this was a game changer. Right in front of me, I could see that I was waking up eight to 10 times a night and my sleep efficiency, despite being in bed for eight hours, I was only sleeping five of those eight hours. And let's talk about mindlessly scrolling on your phone before going to bed. I have fallen into this habit as well. One thing I find that works for me is keeping my phone downstairs. We've actually got a charging station for my entire family that's on the first floor. We sleep on the second floor. And by having it there and actually making a deal with my kids, everyone has agreed that we're going to keep their phones there. This one thing has really helped us lead to a, just a better night's sleep. And I know you're going to say, oh, I need the alarm. Well, guys, simply spend 10 bucks, 15 bucks, get a cheap alarm or spend a little bit more, get a nice alarm. Point being is you don't have to use your phone. And if you're going to ignore this advice, at least put your phone on airplane mode when you go to sleep. The great part about this is you don't have incoming messages or calls that can again wake you up at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. and ruin that great night's sleep. The next bad habit that's aging you prematurely, you're drinking way too much coffee. We're talking eight cups before 8 a.m. Okay, I know some of you guys are drinking a lot of coffee and maybe find an alternative, but another one is drinking past 10 a.m. Especially if you want to get to bed by 10 p.m., you need to give your body 12 hours to work out the caffeine. Yeah, 10 hours is a study I read, but I know for me personally, I like to have that 12 hours. If you don't do that, if you're drinking coffee, 3 p.m., 4 p.m., I know the times that I'm like, okay, I just need something because I'm out late driving my kids around. I do not sleep well. And I can see it again with my sleep tracker. Make sure that you're tracking it. Make sure you're seeing what affects you guys. I think the key when you're going to find going throughout this video is that you really need to understand what affects you. Not everything here, these bad habits are going to affect people the same, but find what affects you because you want to get a great night's sleep and a few other things. And one of those other things, water. Now, it doesn't need to be rocket science and it doesn't need to be eight glasses a day. Some people can get away with less. I prefer though closer to eight. And the way that I make this happen is I set up systems throughout my house, throughout my office to make it easy to have access to water. So, every night before going to bed, I have a glass of water right there on my nightstand that is full because when I wake up first thing in the morning, I jump out of bed and I slam that glass of water. First up, it makes me want to go to the bathroom. So, I for sure get up, but also I've already nailed, I've already gotten through one glass of water. Water, and you lose a lot of water when you sleep. When you're breathing, you have a little bit of that moisture coming out and it adds up over that eight hour period. Here in the office, I've got multiple cups lying around that I can fill up with water. I've just got them all over the place. I make it easy. When they're in sight, I'm more likely to grab them and drink. The next bad habit that's making you look old, sitting in your office all day. I know for me, I finally got one of those standing desks. It wasn't a fancy one. It isn't electronic. I got to actually turn the rotator to get it to go up and down, but I love this because I can just set it up and I can be standing. I've also got a ball that I kind of sit on, you know, one of those exercise balls. It just forces my legs, makes me keep my balance a bit better whenever I'm seated. I also have a jump rope in my office. I've talked about them before, Crossrope, they're not the sponsor of this video. What I love about these jump ropes is that I can spend 
two minutes. I can throw some music on, break up my day, get in some quick workouts that, you know, don't have to be super long. But again, you keep yourself moving. And while we're on the subject of exercise, I'm going to share this tip for anyone in their 40s or 50s or beyond or someone that maybe has been in their 20s and has sustained an injury. So, you really want to make sure you're working on your mobility and your flexibility. They are different things. I'm not going to explain the difference. But I found a person who every single morning I wake up and I'm meeting with them at 6 a.m. It's via Zoom and it wasn't too expensive. And what I love about this is for 30 minutes, they're running me through yoga, stretching, wake up exercises. And I look forward to it. What's great about this, I just get my body moving. And so many of us fall into this trap. We're in our mid 20s, yet we're spending 18 hours a day in a desk, coding, working like that. Guys, you got to make sure that you're moving. Even again, if you have an accountability coach, you've got a group of friends there in the office you're going out for a run with, you need to set things up. And I'm all about systems will set you free. Don't rely on willpower. That's like that glass of water I've been drinking. It's eventually going to run out throughout the day. You want to set up systems so that you're being held accountable to show up to that group run. Meet up with that buddy that you're going to lift with. All of these things right here are going to be setting you up for success. Seriously, gents, after an injury, as you get older, your body starts to change the way it moves. Guys, you don't want to let this happen. You need to remain limber. You need to remain strong. Next up, we've got drinking and smoking. When it comes to smoking, guys, if you're still smoking, you've heard it a million times. I'm probably not going to be the person to convince you, but I will say it again. This right here is just making you look old and not a great thing for you. But let's talk about the drinking. Personally, I stopped drinking about uh, 15 years ago. And when I say that, occasionally, I, I'm not fully dry. I will be out with a couple friends and we'll be out with a glass of wine. But day to day, I just don't drink. And I'm around people that are trying to pressure me to drink. I just simply say, I don't drink. I cut it off years ago because I didn't have the money. And I also saw how it just affected people in my family. We had a number of alcoholics. And that combination right there just led to the habit of realizing I like to wake up. It's called the straight edge. And that is where you don't have any drugs, you don't have any alcohol. I like to main control of my senses and know where things are at. And the added benefit is I think it's helped just simply me age slower than a lot of my peers. I've got friends that I meet up with, you know, at reunions or I see old friends and I'm like, wow, like time has not always been kind on people. And the big part of this, especially if you're around guys that drink heavy, is the abuse that alcohol does to the body. Maybe save some bucks and save some years on your life. Maybe this is the year to cut it out out of your life. The next bad habit that's making you look older than your age, guys, you've got no skincare routine. Now, I get it. You don't want to be using 20 products. You don't want to spend 30 minutes every morning and evening basically freshening up and working on that face. You don't have time for that stuff. Well, gents, that's why over at Vitaman, the sponsor of today's video, they have made it incredibly simple. We're talking three steps. Step one, scrub your face. Step two, wash your face. And step three, moisturize your face. That's it, gents. And for the majority of men, within 30 days, they're going to start to look and feel better, especially if they had no routine, if they were using a bar of soap on their face. The problem with that, that soap is way too harsh and it's drying out your skin, causing it to crack and flake. Now, what if you're dealing with other issues like thinning hair, which the majority of men over the age of 30, your hair is starting to thin naturally. Even if you're not losing it, then you want to check out our thinning hair treatment kit. And by the way, all Vitaman products are natural, organic, made with products from the Australian Outback. Seriously, we're 100% transparent on all the ingredients in our products because we know that this stuff is going on your skin, it's being absorbed into your body, and you want to make sure it's the best. Now, gents, in case you didn't know, I'm one of the owners of Vitaman, so I'm going to make sure you get the best deal on the web. Just go down to vitaman.com slash armrs or use that link in the description of today's video. It will take you over to the products I talked about. Seriously, gents, on this essential skincare kit, you can save over 50% on your first order by using that link in the description of today's video. Guys, this is a great place to get started. I stand behind every single product we sell. So, if you're not satisfied, we've got a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So, gents, you've got nothing to lose, everything to gain, but I know as soon as you get these products in your hands, you start to use them, you are going to notice the vitamin difference. The next bad habit that's aging you, gents, is that you are stressing out. And here's the thing about stress, is that we choose to be stressed out. Yes, you may argue against this and say, no, no, this is just my life. Well, here's the thing is that why are so many other people historically that have been in your situation 
and they haven't been as stressed out. I get it. You've got money issues. You've got relationship issues. You've got just tons of issues, but other people have had these and they seem to just be able to move through life a lot easier. Maybe they do deal with a little bit of stress, but how is it they move on? And this is, I think, an important lesson, something that I've thought a lot about because human beings compared to animals. I mean, yes, you know, you're in a, I don't know, a herd of, uh, you know, horses and an animal or a dog walks too close and it gets kicked. Well, it feels the pain, but it's not stressing about that kick if it survives, uh, you know, a day later. It took the punishment and it moved on. So many times in our lives, we are stressed out or worried about things or you, know, you think about worry. Worry is like prayer for something you don't want to have happen. It, does it help? No, it doesn't. And really, you want to work on exercises, maybe meditation, learning gratitude. This is something that works. I, I think about what am I thankful for? Not focusing on the negative. And this right here allows you to move past and to just let it go. Exercise. Again, we talked about it earlier, but when you're dealing with a tough situation, instead of jumping on that phone and barking at somebody, how about you just simply go for a walk? Then an hour later, after you've thought through, President, I think it was Abraham Lincoln used to talk about this. He would actually write out, he wanted to fire, I don't remember which general it was. Uh, anyone want to correct me down in the comments, let me know. He wrote him a whole letter and about how he was, you know, it was just so frustrating. He lost the war. He could have had Lee at this point. And you know what he did with that letter? He put it away. He never sent it. But that was his way of relieving and getting rid of the stress and realize he can't do anything about what's, you know, has happened in the past and just simply to move on and to let that negative energy go. Next up, we've got poor diet. So there's a lot of hacks, a lot of tricks you can use here. One that I find is that as a family, we shop on the outside of the grocery store. So that's going to be the fresh fruits, the vegetables, the meats, things that you have to cook. If I can't pronounce something and I always try to look at the back and I try to read ingredients and you will be shocked how many things contain, you know, what is it, uh, corn syrup and all this other stuff. And what makes me happy is when I try, I trained my kids to actually be looking at this stuff. So, when we go shopping, occasionally something will make it in the cart that shouldn't be there and my daughter will ask, well, hey, you know, why are we eating this? This is, corn syrup's not good for us. Do we really want this stuff in there? And uh, I'm all, I, you're exactly right, Katya. I've got to take it and put it away. So, when you've got these checks and balances, and I know not everyone has kids or you've got maybe a partner, but maybe you do have a partner that can be checking on this. Maybe you've got a roommate that's a little bit healthier. You could choose to live with a roommate that's incredibly healthy. Again, you become the average of the five people you surround yourself with. So, if you surround yourself with those like a little bit crazy, you know, okay, he's vegan. She is, you know, a health, you know, CrossFit, you know, she's, she's, she's committed to the cause. You know, you've just got these people people that are a little bit out there, but here's the thing is they're going to help direct you towards that path. Maybe you're not going to start telling everyone you're doing CrossFit, but uh, I think you get the point is that when you're around people that are healthy, you are more likely to make healthy habits. When you go out to eat, you simply are around these people. You're just going to feel a bit more conscious about making that bad decision or not paying it. You know, they're going to help you pay attention to things previously you didn't even see. Now, we talked about exercise, jump roping and stuff a little bit earlier. I didn't talk about weights though, and I do think as a man, having weight resistance as part of your training, even if it's just simple dumbbells. I found adjustable dumbbells. We've got these now in my basement. Absolutely love them. It's something when I can't get into the gym, I at least can go downstairs, get on that bench and do, you know, a dumbbell branch press, you know, a overhead press. So many things. We've also got a pull-up bar. But if you're doing really intense workouts, you start to develop this habit that's great up to a point. Understand that you can't overdo this and it can lead to premature aging, especially if you're not getting rest. There are, you know, some people out there and maybe anyone will let us know in the comments. You can push yourself too far. You can hey, be out there running too much and I've been addicted to running. So, I've seen people that get into this and it's just not great for them because they're not giving their body time to recover. Maybe you find an exercise that isn't so hard. I know uh, as runners get a little bit older, you start looking for something that isn't going to put so much pressure maybe on the knees. Although some people, you know, they argue that that's, you know, not the case. I know for me, simply rowing, finding, you ways to get into the pool. That's a great exercise. If you haven't learned how to swim, it's actually very useful as well. You'll find tons of great times you're on a boat and you know, people looking scared. You know, at least, well, at least I'm going to survive, right? I'll grab one of my kids. Point being is uh, exercise is a great thing, but just don't overdo it and make sure that you're pairing it with good rest. All right, Jen, so I know a lot of you guys are smarter than me. I want to hear from you down in the comments. 
What did I miss? What would you have added to this video to make it better? What are things that men do, bad habits they have that make them look older before their time? And gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, you are going to love this one. Things that you wear that are making you look older. Here I talk about the clothing, the items that you want to drop out of your wardrobe because they are just making you look dated. Yeah, avoid wearing this, man. Just, yeah, not a good look for you.